Hey guys, welcome to the We Are No Code channel. My name is Kai, I'm the Chief No Code Officer here at We Are No Code. And in this channel, we talk all about the no code space and talk about no code tools as well. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up on the video. In this video, we are going to show you what no code tools we use inside We Are No Code. And in case you're wondering, do we use no code tools inside We Are No Code? Of course we do. We not only teach people how to use no code tools to build their own startup business ideas, but we also use no code tools to power our own business. So the courses we build, the environments we build for our students, our websites, everything, we use no code tools as much as possible because we love using no code tools. So let's now talk about what tools we currently use at We Are No Code. Okay, so we use a lot of different no-code tools and we know a lot more no-code tools than we actually use on a daily basis just because the fact we don't need to use all of them at the same time. So we know a lot of no-code tools, but sometimes we don't use all the tools we know and all the tools we teach, okay? Because it doesn't make sense just to use all the tools every time. So we just use the ones we need for specific purposes. So, so the first tool we use a lot inside We Are No Coach is Webflow. And we chose to use Webflow to build our our website because Webflow is really awesome and it's really flexible. So you can build a lot of nice projects using Webflow. And I'm a designer, so I love using Webflow because as a designer, I can create pretty much anything I want using Webflow. But we don't only use Webflow for websites and landing pages. We use other tools as well. It all depends on what kind of projects we want to build and how fast we want to build them. So I'm going to talk about this other tool that I also use to build websites in landing pages in a few minutes, but let's talk about Webflow for now. So we use Webflow for websites and we also use Webflow for our members area. So our students for the no-code startup program have access to one specific login area that is built inside Webflow. So when someone joins the programs we offer, they will get access to a exclusive members area. And inside this members area, they can get access to all the content, all the things we offer for our students. So this members area was built using Webflow. For the members area, we also use a tool called Member Stack. With Member Stack, you can create custom login areas. By the way, Webflow just released their new feature called Memberships. It's still in beta while I'm recording this video, but it will be an option to replace Member Stack in the future if you wish to use only Webflow to create custom login areas. In our case, we still use member stack and it's really awesome. It's really great and it does the job well. So with that stack, we can build websites. We also use the Webflow CMS. We use the forms and we also integrate Webflow with Zapier as well. So Zapier is for sure another tool that we use not only with Webflow itself, but also with other integrations. We also use Zapier or Zapier, whatever you want to call it, to send data to Sending Blue, which is our email marketing tool. Of course, there are many other options for you to do email marketing, but we use Sending Blue for now. It's okay, it does the job. So we use Zapier in many, many situations to send data from one place to another. We have multiple triggers, we have multiple automations. We also use Zapier to onboard our students. So when someone signs up for the program, they will receive email messages. So we connect Stripe, with Zapier as well. That's another tool we use. So we use Stripe. We also use Zapier to integrate with Slack. So when a new student signs up, then we have an integration that understands if the payment came through. And then once we have a new student that just paid for the plan, then Stripe triggers a Zap integration that sends information to Slack, sends information to Sending Blue. So it's all integrated. All the tools we use are integrated via Zapier. So we use Zapier as a brain that coordinates everything, every action that is going on. And it's really awesome, really amazing. And it's really nice to have Zapier because it does the job well and it makes a lot of things possible that wouldn't be possible without coding, without having integrations and automations like that. We also use Make for some purposes as well. And you might be asking, why do you guys use Zapier and Make as well? Well, basically, 
usually we use make because sometimes we don't have all the features we want inside Zapier. So in case we need some kind of automation that is not available by default inside Zapier, or sometimes because it's easier to set up within make, then we choose make rather than Zapier. So we use both and depending on what exactly we want to build. So a cool integration that I can give you as an example that we use make for every Friday, we have coaching sessions with our current students from the No Code Startup program. So after doing the coaching session, we use Zoom for that. We record the coaching session and then we host this coaching session on AWS, which is a hosting service from Amazon. And then we have to send this lesson to our Webflow CMS database. So we have an automation that we just host the coaching session, the recorded coaching session inside AWS. And then once it identifies that there is a new recording in place, we just run this automation inside Make and it will add the coaching session to the CMS. So the students inside the members area can get access to this coaching session, to this recording. And it also sends a message to all the students inside the Slack community we have as well. So it does an amazing job and does a lot of tasks that we don't have to do manually. And that saves a bunch of time. Of course, I mentioned this already. We also use Airtable and we use Airtable for a lot of things. So we use Airtable as our CRM leads as well, leads CRM as well. So for example, someone sends a message on our website, then we send this information from Webflow to Airtable. So we use a Zapier automation to send data from Webflow to Airtable, and then we host this information inside Airtable. So inside Airtable, we have a lot of bases. We have leads coming in. We have people who signed up for our free courses as well. We have people sending partnership emails, sending contact emails, all sorts of contacts that happen in our Webflow website. Everything goes to Airtable as our CRM. If you have a business idea and you want to build your own startup business using no code tools, we have the perfect program for you. Down below, there is a link for you to discover the no code startup program. Inside the program, you will have access to our exclusive curriculum, step-by-step -step tutorials, no code lessons. You will learn entrepreneurship and no code together. You will have access to a private chat with me and Christian together to ask questions that you have regarding the project you are building. So we can help you via text messages and video support as well. You will get access also to a lot of discounts and perks for specific no code tools. So you can save a lot of money while building your startup business. And you can also interact with an amazing community of founders like you. So if you want to get started and get unstuck and start building your online business the right way using no code tools, that's the right way to go. Check the link down below and check more information and apply today. I see you inside the no code startup program. Let's go. We also use Airtable in conjunction with another tool that is called software. So we use Airtable as a software database as well. So software is really a nice tool that can allow you to build websites and landing pages. So we use that for this purpose as well. So we build websites and landing pages with software. You can do a lot more than just websites and landing pages as well. You can build market places, CRMs, internal tools, and much more. For now, we are still using software just for websites in landing pages. And also we created gated content, so a course custom area. So our free course is available through software. We created a custom environment where you have to sign up to access the free course. And we are using Airtable as a database as well for this custom area. So when a person signs up, they see all the lessons available for the free course and we are hosting all the lessons inside software, but using Airtable as a database. So every information about all the lessons is hosted inside Airtable and software is pulling that information and displaying inside this gated content that the person has to sign up to have access to. And for the lessons themselves, we host them on Vimeo. So we use Vimeo for video. Sometimes we also use Wistia. So we host the videos in inside third party tools and we put all the information inside our software database that is being displayed inside our software application. We've used Webflow most
multiple times to create different kinds of projects. Now we are exploring software as much as possible because software is really easy to build and fast to learn. So we are leveraging software for things that don't require a lot of specific design. So it's really awesome that you can create really fast. As I am a no coder and a designer as well, it's really easy for me to learn new tools and to design while building inside those tools. So software is really easy for me to use and I can get a lot of things done in a matter of minutes, if not hours, if the project is a little bit bigger, but it's really awesome what you can do. And once you're done, you just click deploy and everything is live. We have some custom domains we use to host all the things we have. We use also can mentioned other tools as well that are not specifically no code tools for some parts of integrations. We also use Stripe for payments. We also host courses using Teachable. That's another platform that we use that is kind of a no code course platform. Let's put it that way. It's not exactly a no code tool per se, but it's a platform, a let's say no code platform that you can use only to host courses. So we host our current courses inside Teachable. We also integrate Teachable with Zapier, with Stripe, with Webflow. So we connect everything together and we place everything inside our custom member area, also with our Slack private community. So we have everything tied together using no code tools and using multiple no code tools. It's amazing and it's really nice that it's all possible through no code. And I'm really happy to be behind everything and setting up all those integrations, automations, using all those tools. So it's been really nice to have more and more experience working with no code tools in real cases, in real scenarios, and being able to build this business using no code tools. We also like to use other tools like Adalo, like Glide and Bubble sometimes when we need to build more complex projects. And there are other tools that we currently test and we use sometimes. So as long as we find a no code tool that can solve a problem for us and that makes sense for us to use, we adapt and we integrate those extra no code tools in our current stack. If you like to know all the tools and resources we use at We Are No Code, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video and also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Also share this video with your friends and make sure to watch all the other videos we have inside the We Are No Code channel. Don't forget to check all the links down below in the video description section to get informed about the courses and the programs we offer for you to learn about no code tools. Let's no code!